What's going on YouTube? GFN right here. In today's video we have some important Miseka updates that bring a lot of new support, especially for newer devices. They bring new stability improvements for troll store installation through Miseka and much more. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by For Me Key, a software that allows you to bypass the iCloud activation lock if your device is secondhand, for example, and it turned out to be locked or you got scammed on eBay and Craigslist and stuff, and you can't use the device. This works with older devices, for example, with iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and stuff like that. Like that and you can do the procedure with the device connected with just one click. You connect the device by following the instructions over here and that's it. You can also turn off the camera sound and remove the Apple ID from the device. This does support iOS 16.7.1 and 16.3 on Windows and all the older versions as well. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS and a free trial is available. There's also a coupon for 20% off and you can use this for a variety of cases but especially if you bought a secondhand device from Craigslist and maybe eBay and stuff, Facebook groups and it turned out to be locked or stuck on the activation screen or unable to activate because some older devices nowadays no longer want to activate or if it's SIM locked and you don't have the SIM from that country where you bought it from. You can fix all of these with this tool Tenorshare for me key. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So today we got a couple of new updates for Misaka from Straight Tamago, the developer behind it. So the version 3.3.0 is out, the version 3.3.1 is out, there is also the version 3.2.9 which is out and was released yesterday. They were all released together with a couple of of hours difference. So let's see exactly what these new versions contain. The version 3.3.0 is for M1 and M2 devices. Those devices have the M1 or M2 chip and they were previously not supported by Misicom. Well now it's possible to use these devices as well. The version 3.3.1 is now also available which is also compatible with M1 and M2 devices as well. They added the lyrics editing function for music files, you can do so with the file manager, and iPad UI bug fixes. Troll store installer can now work on M1 and M2 devices as well, which is massive. You can now install Troll Store 2 from Misaka even on M1 and M2 devices, which was previously not possible. And the version 3.2.9 released yesterday also brought small bug fixes and it added the ID3 tag editing function to the file manager. So these are quite some updates. You should definitely go ahead and get the latest version, but do know that now there are two options available for Misaka in the IPA file. Make sure you get the proper one. There is one for M1 and M2 devices. So if you have one of those you should get this one and then there's the Misaka version 3.3.1 and that's it and you get this one for any other kind of chip a15 a12 a13 a14 whatever stuff like that if it's m1 or m2 you get this IPA and you can sideload it with for example sideloadly or with alt store and stuff like that I would recommend sideloadly though and after that you can install troll store with it if you're on a compatible version remember that Misaka supports iOS 16.0 all the way up to 16.5 and also 16.6 .6 beta 1 on all devices so that's actually quite great and with Misaka you can install tweaks and themes and stuff without being jailbroken It's like a jailbreak alternative and nowadays you can also install troll store that allows you to Basically install any application without having to re-sign it again or without having to worry about Seven days expiry and stuff like that you install it forever basically until you delete it So definitely get your update to Misaka and thank you for watching subscribe to stay updated and peace out